next we're going to take a look at transforming matrices. So we see these forms here, reflection in the y-axis, we have negative 1, 0, 0, 1, reflection in the x-axis, 1, 0, 0, negative 1, and then horizontal stretch or shrink, so notice we have the k values, whatever they give us, 0, 0, 1. Vertical stretch, we have 1, 0, and 0, k here. So we're going to find the image of the square whose vertices are 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 2, and 2, 2 after reflection in the y-axis. So if we're doing a reflection in the y-axis, we are going to take a look at this matrix here. So what we're going to do is we're going to write this down first of all. Negative 1, 0, 0, 1. And then we're going to multiply it to 0, 0. And then we're going to repeat and do that for all of these um, points here. So then we have negative 1, 0, 0, 1. And we're going to multiply that to, to 0. And then negative 1, 0, 0, 1. And then 0, 2. And then the last one, negative 1, 0, 0, 1. Multiply that to 2, 2. So remembering how to multiply, so um, it's the row, the row by the column. So this is going to be, we know negative 1 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 0 is going to be 0. And this is the same here. 0 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is still 0. So that doesn't change. So here, when we're multiplying, so remember this is negative 1 times 2 plus 0 times 2. And then below, that it's 0 times 2, which is 0, and 1 times 0 is 0. So therefore, this will be negative 2, 0. Then we do the next one. Negative 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. So that is still 0. And then 0 times 0 is 0. 1 times 2, though, is 2. So that is 0, 2. And then try this last one here. So negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 times 0 times 2, well, plus 0 times 2, which is 0. 0 times 2 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2. So therefore, the new square is 0, 0, negative 2, 0, 0, 2, and negative 2, 2. Now find the image of the square um, of these vertices and after a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. So vertical stretch by a factor of 2. Um, I hope you see that you are going to be using this one here. And then that k value is going to be 2. So try this out. So you're using 1, 0, 0, 2. And if you multiplied it through, you would find that it, the vertices would be at 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 4, and 2, 4. And then, of course, you could plot those points and then graph it as needed. Now you can find the area of a par parallelogram using the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So the area of a parallelogram with vertices 0, 0, A, B, C, D, and then A plus C, comma B plus D is the area it's the absolute value of the determinant, and you're only using the A, B, and C, D. So the form that we're going to see um, is always going to look like this here. So notice that the A plus C and then B plus D, that is going to be true. So we'll check it in this next example. Find the area of a parallelogram. So the vertices are 0, 0, which they told us that's what the first point should be. And then 2, 0, and then 1, 3, 2, 0, and 1, 3 is here. And then notice that this last value here, a plus c, so that should be 2 plus 1, is 3. And that's true. And 0 plus 3 is 3. So that kind of helps you out. So that needs to be true in order for this area of a parallelogram to work. So we're going to find the area. So area equals um, a. So this is a and b. And this is c and d. So 2, 0, 1, 3. And then we find the determinant of this here. So that is going to be 6 minus 0, or 6 square units. Okay, so you don't want to mix these up, or that will change that. So find the area of the parallelogram with vertices 0, 0, 5, 5, 2, 4, and 7, 9.
Okay, trying it out. You should have gotten 10 square units with your matrix being 5, 5, and 2, 4.